Brooklyn Independent Television. If you've walked by the Atlantic Terminal Station lately, then you probably noticed those large blocks sitting out front. The concrete and granite structures are designed to ward off terrorist attacks, but they have some Brooklynites scratching their heads. Lauren Moraski has more. When you walk out of the Long Island Railroad's newly built Atlantic Terminal, it's hard to miss these. 14 concrete bollards surrounding the outside of the $106 million transport hub. So what's their purpose? Well, today they served as a resting place for, well, anything, I guess. But they're really designed to ward off potential terrorist attacks, say blocking a truck full of explosives, for example. They serve a very important function, but not everyone is happy with their design, including Ben Freed, editor of Streets Blog, a website dedicated to transportation and livable streets. These sarcophagus-like slabs of uh, granite are apparently a security measure, and we discover that they are bigger than even the strictest NYPD regulations uh, for counter-terror counter security. Uh, what it really says, though, is that we have this bunker mentality that's, you know, destroying our public infrastructure, destroying the public realm, and that uh, here we have this wonderful new train station, and that really depends on people being able to walk to it. But why so big? It is really tough to find out who is responsible. You have the LIRR, um, the NYPD has been involved to some degree, and then the architect himself, um, he's come out and he, he doesn't seem all that pleased with these, uh, <clears throat> these security measures. So the NYPD recommends that bollards measure between 30 and 36 inches. I brought my tape measure out today and I figured I'd uh, measure them here. And this one is about 51 inches. That's a foot higher than the recommendation. The NYPD also advises four feet of clear spacing between the structures. Most of the ones I measured fit within that recommendation. I took to the streets to see what Brooklynites thought of the structures and was actually hard pressed to find anyone who disliked them. I don't mind them much. Kind of gives the area a little visual interest, but and place for people to sit. They look like benches. I thought it looked nice. It looked really creative and I don't know you notice them when you come out because it wasn't there before, so you'll notice them. When you come out. You saw his beautiful for the summer people can sit over here and relax themselves, branded kids and make a picture for them, you know. It's really nice. So these are supposed to kind of prevent uh, terrorist attacks. Really? Oh so these are similar to those steel pillars that they have around federal buildings. Um, I don't know how it's gonna prevent a terrorist attack. Could it prevent a truck from hitting the structure? Has it been tested? And now that the Atlantic Yards deal is a go, some are wondering what kinds of structures will be placed there. You can do stuff that, uh, like bollards, um, you know, benches with planners that, you know, they're heavy duty planners, but, you know, they add some space to sit, um, some green, and you're adding to the public realm and enhancing security at the same time. I think it is possible that they will take these out actually and put something that's more sensitive to the pedestrian realm. Yeah. Like them or not, the bollards, which some deem excessive and even likened to coffins, are here to stay, at least for now. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Lauren Moraski. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.